Restoring Tomorrow is a film about faith, family, and renewal, as well as hope. It is a call to action to restore houses of worship, and it's in limited release. But the actor and director who produced it says it has a critical message for his generation to come back to places that matter. Here's a look at the film. wall of cold water, I thought to myself, we're dying at the roots here. This campus is dying. I used to go all the time to the temple with my family, and it seemed to be so relevant to them and to my grandparents. Something's different now. I don't know if it's a generational thing or what. I don't know if I get it. No one has a sanctuary like that. But look around. Pieces of the dome are falling. Literally 10-pound pieces of plaster falling down. They're lethal. The physical plant was an embarrassment. What happened physically with the temple was a powerful metaphor. It was falling apart. And that's where I have, in this process, felt guilty because I took it for granted. A place like the temple is trying to connect us with things of real meaning. The Warner Brothers were willing to support whatever he was going to do, and that included building this temple. How do you feel about what has happened and what is to come? A little earlier, I spoke with the filmmaker behind Restoring Tomorrow, Aaron Wolf. Here's a look at that interview. So briefly, share the story behind Wilshire Boulevard Temple's history and its falling apart. Yeah, Wilshire Boulevard Temple is the oldest congregation in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. When it started, Los Angeles had 5,000 people. That's mm -hmm. it. Wow. Abraham Lincoln was president. Mm -hmm. And I learned all this going through this journey, making Restoring Tomorrow. Yeah. It is the oldest congregation. My grandfather was a rabbi there for 50 years. Mm -hmm. He came from Nazi Germany. Mm -hmm. He escaped, and he studied uh, to be a rabbi, mm -hmm. and his number one uh, outreach and way of a uh, way of reaching out to the community was interfaith, mm. and so Wilshire Boulevard Temple has been a temple that has stood for interfaith mm -hmm. for its entirety. Yeah. My grandfather, that was his message, yeah. and unfortunately, it was falling apart. Like a lot of institutions right now, mm -hmm. it was in disarray, mm. and they led a campaign to restore it. And I think it symbolizes res what Wilshire Boulevard Temple mm -hmm. and Restoring Tomorrow symbolize is what any community can do when they rally together with faith and with their families so that they can provide a better future for their community because these places are what do good mm -hmm. in communities. In the little bit that we've been able to see of the film, we see that this is a very personal project for you. What is it that drove it to be so personal for you? It's been personal from minute one. Mm -hmm. I went through a bump in the road where I was uh, supposed to get married. The mm -hmm. wedding got called off one month before. Mm -hmm. And so I started this project and it started with just me doing a little bit of chronicling of what they were trying to do per my rabbi. Yeah. And then it became something so much bigger. I started to feel my own faith. I started to learn about my own family. And so I turned the camera on me and said, I think I'm serving as a microcosm for what could happen to any young person mm -hmm. disconnected to their religious institution who needs to come back to it. And I think right now in 2018, with all that's going on, the shootings in Pittsburgh and in LA and what this idea of us being able, now I know why I did it. Yeah. It's this t Tuesday, November 13th, right. the idea of getting people all around the country yeah. to theaters nationwide mm -hmm. in one place for hope, to stop the hate and start the hope that's what it's all about. Yeah, you mentioned the shooting, and we had uh, one in California, the synagogue shooting, of, of course. Do you think, I mean, I imagine this, this is, is, is timely, and some people would probably wonder, how can I look back at history in order to repair what we're going through right now? What would you say? I would say there's two pieces. Mm. The first piece is 
as we say in the film, we are the ancestors for future generations. Mm -hmm. So how do we want them to look back at us? And my recommendation and what the film provides is hope. Yeah. And the reason is I recommend we stop pointing fingers mm -hmm. and start opening out our hands. And the more we can do that, and in the film, I think you'll be surprised with the ending. I don't want to do a spoiler alert, yeah. but it offers that hope. I love and that. then you feel, when the moment we feel good again, mm -hmm. then the hate can stop and people can look back on us in 2018 and say, they were good ancestors. Yeah, beautiful. Now, in terms of extending a hand, you're using this film to extend a hand as well. Share what, what's gonna happen as a result. Yes, so on Tuesday, we're doing this, we're showing the film, then we're having a conversation with the most unlikely notable people that you would expect to be in the same room, yeah. having a conversation together about unity, about comfort, about family. And the idea is that this Restoring Tomorrow movement, I made a movie. Mm -hmm. But now it's for everyone. And it's for, I hope, families to come with their grandparents, to come with their parents, to come with their kids. I don't have kids yet, so mm -hmm. I can't bring my kids because I don't have any, mm -hmm. but I would if I could. Yeah. And uh, to go as a family, because then you'll come out on Tuesday and you'll feel good again. And I encourage anyone to write me. I'm the Aaron Wolf on social media. Mm -hmm. Or go to the Restoring Tomorrow website or Howling Wolf website. It's through Fathom. Mm -hmm. And you can get tickets and then come as a community because it's all about community.